In the book about the British spy who is also a werewolf, the spy and a lady werewolf from the werewolf pack make love by a river. And in the middle of the lovemaking, they turn into wolves, and then the lovemaking turns into fucking, and then they go into the river, and then they are two wolves fucking in a river. <laughs> After Robert R. McGammon. If you think this poem is about anything other than wanting to make love to you until we are two wolves fucking in a river, then I just don't know what to say to you. Other than I want to make love to you until we are two wolves fucking in a river. This is not a metaphor. I am so tired of metaphors. My body is a metaphor for a body. A thing I use to describe a body that has nothing to do with a body. But enough about that. I did not come here to get tangential. I came here for one reason. And that reason is because I want to turn into a wolf and I want you to turn into a wolf, and I want there to be a big river for us as wolves to fuck in. The kind of all day long fucking that leaves us wondrously ruined, that makes tundras of our minds, our thoughts, a trace of scrawny rabbits. We are at last too satisfied to hunt. God damn, let's break this down into chronological order. One, we make love, our bodies blessed by sweat and snow, our muscles laced with moonlight and songs about moonlight until fur pushes like gray grass through flesh and our gums become bandoliers and two, we turn to wolves, which is just what it is. <laughs> Us as wolves, finally, 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 oh sweet, finally, and three, we fuck in a river. <laughs> as wolves, with soft ears and treasureful eyes, bending our lightning around each other's lightning. And if God is something you're into, God is everywhere, shaking and bellowing. And if God is something you're not into, science is everywhere. <laughs> Science is everywhere, bewildered and blaspheming. I mean, let's really delve into this. Let's be clear because I don't want to lose you again. We are no longer human. We are two wolves fucking in a brisk, cold river. And our fur is keeping us warm. And our mammal blood is keeping us warm. But let's be real, mostly the wolf fucking is keeping us warm. <laughs> And your body is a sky I want to sing into forever. And my body is that trembling song. And your body is a throat erupting with night language. And my body is a book of rivers written in that language. And our bodies are together. Let's not forget, for the purposes of this poem, they are together. We are together. And the day we picnicked after visiting the wolves and spoke of fucking other people is gone. And the months of bashful exorcism, gone. The furtive kissing on under the avocado tree, gone. The mournful green boots, the bowing to clocks, the stillborn Christmas, the frantic 4 a.m. filing frenzy, and frantic reporting on frantic stars, the failed ray key, the spinning crystals, shivering in the bed frost, that awful swaying on the brink of holiness, howling into our own silences, gone, gone, gone. Let us be new and wise. Let us cast catastrophe off like a feeble human skin. Let us shimmer with animal magic. Call the National Geographic. Tell them we have proven that trauma turns to steam and leaves the body when two people get down good enough to turn to wolves and fuck in a river that is nothing but every thought of unlovability we have ever had about ourselves trying to reclaim us, but how it 
passes, grasping and desperate around the shape of this savage love, my dear. Do you know how soft my ears are? <laughs> how soft you make my ears when you whisper into them, yes, I believe you. I believe your body. Oh, the moon is full and this river is rising, is rushing vertical, a tree of water. Come, let us shine in it. Come, let us shine in it. Let me be carried at last to the moon with you, over and over and over with you, turning the frail night feral with you. Oh, love, oh, wolf, oh, river with you. Thank you so much. <laughs>